Hi, I'm Manisha and I welcome you on behalf of VSV Academy on another exciting learning journey. Coding Satoshi Nakamoto from Bitcoin White Paper Section 2, we define an electronic coin as a chain of digital signatures. This quote provides the focus for our course, which is digital signatures. It is one of the fundamental concepts which if well understood will enhance your overall understanding of Bitcoin as This is a beginner level course. It assumes no prior knowledge of Bitcoin. There are many well proven digital signature schemes which enterprises use such as RSA which is based upon the name of its inventors, digital standard signature, ECDSA which stands for elliptic curve digital signature algorithm and a few more. For the scope of this course, our focus would only be ECDSA as it is used in Bitcoin. The course is organized into four chapters and each chapter subsequently builds upon the foundation established in the previous chapter. At the end of every chapter, you'll be required to pass an assessment in order to proceed further. In the first chapter, we will understand what are digital signatures and learn digital signature protocol at an abstract level. The chapter also features properties of digital signatures which will help you appreciate its utility in digital commerce. Once we have learned digital signature protocol we deep dive into ECDSA to begin we look at a few mathematical concepts relevant to elliptic curve cryptography which brings us to my personal favorite chapter ECDSA prerequisites chapter 2 focuses on many concepts which are generally covered in 6 to 12 months in a university program we look at each concept at a high level and wherever possible go through the details via illustrations so my suggestion here would be to pay extra attention to images and animations and maybe grab a paper and pen to write along or take notes we start this chapter with the most fundamental and powerful application of the modular operation in cryptography and we close this chapter by visualizing how private and public keys are related to one another in elliptic curve cryptography And yes this chapter is a bit steep in learning but I'm hoping you'll find a flow and enjoy it after a fun ride in mathematics we look at elliptic curve digital signing algorithm in chapter 3 our focus here would be three parts private public key pair generation then the signing algorithm and finally the verification algorithm the equations in the signing and verification algorithm for ecdsa may seem a bit intimidating at first and generally these algorithms are encapsulated into well tested libraries so there may be really no need for you to remember them however if you are keen my suggestion here would be to practice them a few times by writing along with the course and i'm sure you would get a firm grasp on these once we have understood what digital signatures are and specifically what ecdsa is we look at where ecdsa is used in bitcoin in chapter 4 bitcoin protocol uses ecdsa for bitcoin transactions and sign messages we will also look at miner id protocol which is an optional feature and illustrates just another application of ecdsa the most critical key takeaway within these three topics would be bitcoin transactions as transactions are at the heart of bitcoin protocol in chapter 4 we will take a simple example for a bitcoin transaction for transferring bsv from alice to bob to charlie then dave and understand how gracefully digital signatures have been applied to provide security for transfer of value we also look at how private public key pairs are typically generated in a bitcoin ecosystem we close chapter 4 with the usage of ecdsa in sign messages and miner id protocol and finally you will arrive at the final assessment in order to complete the course and reward yourself with a certificate from bsv academy i do wish you all the best and i hope you enjoy and have fun learning digital signatures as much as i have enjoyed compiling it till we meet next happy learning